Hello, hello. So today we're going to be unbagging, comparing, unboxing BoxyCharm, the base box, and then Ipsy's base subscription. Um, I know that BoxyCharm is under a little bit of heat right now. Um, Jen Loves Reviews did a whole video on the controversy. If you don't know what's going on, I would go watch that video and you can draw your own conclusions. I have not canceled my subscription yet. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. So before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. And then you can follow me on my makeup related Instagram. All that stuff is always down below. Let's dive right in. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a try on video. Um, it's strictly just me kind of talking about the products. So We'll start with BoxyCharm because, ooh. So I did open this and then I completely forgot everything that I, uh, was in it. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing are these Ivio Skin and Aurora Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. I'm guessing they are makeup remover wipes. Let's see. Oh, Aurora Cannabis. Yeah, it's a makeup remover wipe. I guess. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to open it because I don't want them to dry out, but I want to smell it. They don't smell like anything. Okay, well that's the first product. Oh, and then, so BoxyCharm did this new thing where they, they emailed the card, but I got like seven emails, so I don't even, I didn't even know which card was like actually mine. So let's see. So my virtual February insert card. But look, they sent me it like four, I don't know if you can see it, whatever, it doesn't matter. They sent me it four times, just believe me. So for these Ivio Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes, it says that they retail for $10. So that's not bad. How many wipes do you get? 15. 15 wipes for 10 bucks. so not terrible. Next thing in the box is the Facial Radiance Pads. This is my First Aid Beauty. I've actually owned these before. I do like them. Um, it's kind of like a toner on a pad. You don't have to like have a separate cotton pad to use the toner. So, but these are good. I do like these for like after makeup. They're alcohol free. First Aid Beauty is really good for sensitive skin if you don't know. Um, yeah, so these retail for $16. And it's basically just wipe it across your face. I kind of use those types of products after like I remove my makeup and wash my face. If there's any residual product left, I'll like use that kind of product to just make sure I'm all clear. Next thing is the Kate Somerville KX Active Concentrate Biomimicking Peptide Serum. It's like a smooth and firming serum. I don't believe I've ever tried Kate Somerville uh anything before why won't this focus so this is what it looks like it was not focusing for whatever reason let's see oh i'll probably end up giving this to my mom because i don't really use serums like this but it's probably expensive how much 98 dollars so this is why boxyterm is getting in trouble because they're putting products like this in the boxes and people don't believe that they're the real products so okay okay okay, okay. next product is the ciate everyday vacay i think this is a powder yes it's a powder it's is it it's the coconut setting powder it doesn't say anything else about it i don't know if it's translucent i don't know but it's very white so i have a feeling this would not be great for darker skin. I don't know if they make a darker color. Um, but that retails for $22. That's not bad for a powder. How much product do you get? 0.52 ounces of product. So it's not terrible. And then the last thing in the box, which I'm actually very excited for, is this Luxie sponge set. I love Luxie brushes. They're like one of my favorite brushes. I, I feel like people have a hard time with them sometimes. I, I don't understand that because I've had my brushes for like years and nothing has ever happened. But you get three sponges. So the first, and they're all nude kind of colors. So the first one has this like double pointed tip and then a round, you know, pointed on the bottom. Then this one has just a flat side and then the round tip. And then the smallest one is just like a teardrop pattern. 
and that retails for $40. So $40 for three sponges is not bad. I have to test them out. They feel soft, but we never know. So that was everything in this month's box. Let's move on to the Ipsy bag. And the Ipsy bag this month is so soft. It's like this like velvety bag situation. All right, first item is this Radiant Glow by Ibby Beauty. It's in the shade Prosecco. I have their highlighters and I also have their like contour stuff. I believe I actually already swatched this. It looks like that still, well, it looks very nice. It might be a little too dark for me, but I could definitely wear that as like an inner corner highlight. Okay, next I got this Auto Bomb, it's by The Bomb, Girl Power Blush, and that's actually a pretty good size for a sample from The Bomb. Um, they were, oh, this is so soft. They were giving like really, really tiny samples, and I think they like upped their game. Well, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so pretty. That's right up my alley. It's a little powdery, but probably because I was sticking my hand like directly into it. Very nice, very nice. Next, I got this pure sample. It's the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation, and it's in the shade LG6, I think. Um, and I think this is going to be not the right undertone for me, but we will see. Maybe when I'm self-tanned, it'll be better. Eh, yeah, it's a little yellow. Looks like that, yeah. It's very yellow. So, I mean, I can probably mix it with something, but probably not on its own will I be able to wear that. I actually have this foundation. I have it in like MP4 or something. It's like one of their medium pink shades um, for when I'm self tan. So we'll test it out, see how it goes, but I don't think that shade's gonna work. Next item is this Sex Kitten Tarte Eyeliner. Oh, and it's a, um, a liquid, so that's cool. It's just a black liquid eyeliner. I mean, I'm just kind of over getting eyeliners in bags because I, um, have so many eyeliners from subscription bags. So, okay, next product and last product is this Pure Brazilian Deep Conditioning Mask. I actually really like this product. I've had it before, or I've had something very similar to it, um, and it's very, very good. I really like this, and I think it smells good, if I remember correctly. I know it's another thing, but I think it does smell good. I just can't um, smell it right now. So yeah, that was. those are all the products that I got in this month's Ipsy bag. I kind of said I think BoxyCharm won this one because of the sponge set. I'm very excited about that. But there, were, but Ipsy had a lot of good products. Like this blush is going to be very nice. Actually, let's put some on right now. Look, a Luxie brush. Oh, wow, that's a lot of powder. Oh, that's pretty. I had blush on. I had like a liquid brush but not a powder uh, blush, so. Ooh, it's very pretty, I like that a lot. Okay, all right, so that concludes this video. Let me know what you got down below, um, and I will see you in my next video, bye.